So you want to be a professional driver? It's a non-stop battle. A battle with your fear, a battle with the course, and a battle with the other drivers. The power and speed playing you in the seat. It's the best feeling on earth. I'm Vaughn Gittin Jr. Formula D champion. There's this race coming up, and I want you to enter. It's not easy, bro. I've borrowed this GTR for you. It's got some serious parts on it. Now we got a race car. Before you race, you've got to get some practice. Let's rock. so bad for a beginner. Okay, we're gonna lock in your settings for the race. If you like what you see, let's go do some racing. Sick, this is a nice turnout. We got some Porsches, some Corvettes, couple of GTRs, some real track day weapons out there. So finish strong and you'll earn enough to buy your own car. Alright, this is it man, go get them. Aggressive, but you got. 
rhythm through the S's. Nice work. You looked awesome. There are plenty of cars in your budget. You've got some nice options. Good choice, man. This is where it all begins. From here, you have the chance to do all kinds of racing. If you want to reach the top, first you have to make a name for yourself at the grassroots level. Try out different disciplines, like time attack or drifting. And soon you'll be ready for the GT3 or the Works Race Series. If you succeed there, you'll be ready for a seat in the GT1 World Championship. See these cool posters? They all hold events and the numbers on each show the driver level you'll need to enter. You're starting at level one with entry-level modern D cars. By the time you hit level 16, you'll be a full-on GT1 World Championship driver. I think you've got some real talent. Let's see how far you can take it. All right, it's time to pick a race and get out there. Okay, let's get you back on the track. You're a part of Modern D. We're starting out basic, but that doesn't mean starting out slow. Time to prove those skills, my man. One more thing before you get started. We have to talk experience. Everything you do earns XP. Win more XP, and you'll get new cars and unlock more events. You'll take home extra cash and earn more options for vinyl, paint schemes, and rims. During a race, you'll earn more if you nail a perfect start from the grid, overtake another driver, or stick to the racing line. Then, after a race, you'll also earn XP bonuses. Bonuses are based on how you finished and how much you dominated the other drivers. They're also based on the objectives you've earned and whether you mastered the track. You can earn XP online too, when you battle your friends in versus modes or through auto log. Basically, to earn XP, you want to fight hard, drive fast, and win as much as you can.
awesome driving. You just set your first record in Autolog. Autolog's where you can meet up with your friends in the Need for Speed community. You'll have your own personalized driver profile. You'll be able to see the stats on your victories, rewards, and favorites. And you'll be set and alert at any time a new record is set. Your friends can recommend events and Autolog will suggest others in the recommend section. You can share photos and replays in the gallery. You may be alone behind the wheel, but Autolog opens up a world of community and rivalry. This will be intense. Monza compacted into two straights and some heavy duty turns. Keep your laps consistent and try not to blink. Green, that's a green light. Push, push, push. Someone has decided to lend you some sweet cars. We're talking Aston Martins and Porsches. Beat the lap target times and build up your XP. Okay, two quarters to perfect. Turn one, paddock hill is a downhill plunge and great for overtaking. Then Druids, a slow hairpin with an uphill approach. Good luck. That's a 
green light, go, go, go! Excellent stuff. That was a great win. Alright, customization is all about perfecting your car. You can transform your car from a stock showroom model all the way into a fire-breathing track monster. Upgrades are all about finding that perfect balance. You can choose to upgrade your suspension, tires, brakes, you can even swap out your engine. Visual customization lets you design your own look and share your personal style. If you really want to compete with the big boys, you'll want the full works conversion. Install enough upgrades and soon you'll be able to convert your production model into a straight up race car. Once you start customizing, the possibilities are endless. See what works best for you and have fun. Okay, there's a shortened track with some tight bends. Last turn of the lap is a long uphill right. Take it flat out and we'll win back some time.
absolutely epic drive, man. That's how you get the job done. Okay, this is your first night race. It doesn't get any tougher than this. Excellent stuff. That was a great win. Someone up there seen your talent. You've got the chance to battle for Modern Sea. Prove yourself in a full-on race around Suzuka West, and you'll be going places in no time. We're on Suzuka West today. You've got to nail the final spoon curve. Get the right balance of speed and control, and we'll be on the podium.
absolutely epic drive, man. That's how you get the job done. So you're the driver everyone's been talking about. I hear you've got what it takes to be a good drifter. Drifting is the art of controlled chaos. You're gonna throw your car into a slide and try to maintain it. Everyone starts on basic courses, but you step your game up and I'll take you to the mecca of drifting, Ebisu in Japan. Yourself and you'll get an invitation to Southern California's House of Drift, Irwindale Speedway. There's going to be a serious battle for the championship. Win it, and I'll give you my Monster Energy Falcon Tire Ford Mustang. Are you ready to rock? When drifting first hit the States, it was way underground. We broke the locks at the Nevada Freight Depot just so you can go practice drifting. This is just how I taught myself to drift, sliding around the open parking lot and just having some fun. And check this out. Drift Alliance was cool enough to lend you a sick S13 to thrash. Start by driving in a wide counterclockwise circle around the pole. Turn in hard and increase the throttle. The goal here is to find the perfect amount of counter steer and throttle to maintain the drift. Too much throttle and you will spin. Too little and you will straighten up. This is all about being smooth. Hop in that S13 and let's go drifting. Nice work, you're killing it out there. Now we're gonna learn about linking drifts and changing direction. The best way to do this is practice some figure eights. As you approach the other side of the figure eight, quickly lift off the throttle and turn the wheel in the opposite direction. If you get in a bind and need to initiate drift or change direction in a hurry, you can turn in and yank the e-brake. It will lock up your back wheels and throw you into a drift. Careful, don't hold the e-brake too long or you'll just spin out. Alright, I want to see you link that figure eight.
right, Vaughn Gittin Jr. School Drift final lesson is all about manjing. Manjing is essentially a slalom drift down a straight line. You'll be using weight transfer to initiate your drift here. Once you have some speed, initiate drift by tossing the car in one direction and quickly counter steering the direction you want to drift. If you get in a bind, don't be scared to use the e-brake to help the car rotate quickly. Start slow and increase speed as you start to feel comfortable. Don't go too big too fast. For now, we'll keep it simple. Once you figure this out, I'll give you the whole yard to tear up however you want. After you've mastered all this, you will be on the drift circuit chasing that dream of becoming a pro. Bring your A game and don't expect me to go easy on you.